Hello there, buddy. I'm Mr. Game Hi, and welcome to Robot Master Miracle Run. Today we're taking on Tomahawk Man, and he is annoying. <laughs> uh, just to get that out there right away, he's gonna be a bad one. Fortunately, his stage isn't too much of an issue. Especially once he got special weapons like these. Yeah, last episode, Plant Man gave me a really big run for my money. Well, not Plant Man, but his stage, anyway. Here we start seeing lots of these little boxes that uh, can give you various items if you break them open. We saw a couple of these back in Plant Man's stage, but in general it wasn't the boxes themselves that gave us the uh, items. It was just items were behind them. It's a good reason to go to Flame Man's stage first. You got a lot of prizes for that. Oh. But yeah, I really like using the Night Crush in a lot of these levels. It tends to help enormously with its rapid fire. Well, not rapid fire. It's uh, multi-directional functions. I believe that we're going to need a little bit of this. There we go. Very good. Oh no, I got hit. Yeah, Tomahawk Man stage is actually pretty cool because it houses multiple pathways that uh, get very interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, just what I needed. More Night Crush. And now, as we stare at this beautiful sunset, it's time to get in our Rush Jet Adapter. Bam! And now, I can fly. You ever wanted to play as Mega Man with a jetpack? Well, now you can. That is exactly what this is. Mega Man with a jetpack. It is beautiful. Now, Plant Man is actually strong against Tomahawk Man. And for... There are some interesting theories. You see, basically, there's this whole thing where there was this worldwide tournament, and, you know, all the Robot Masters were fighting each other, and it didn't Dr. Wily stole all the Robot Masters to take over the world. Well, the thing is, is that most of the Robot Masters weren't made for fighting in the first place. The only ones made for fighting originally were Nightman and Tomahawk Man. In fact, now Nightman was just made for combat in general originally, but Tomahawk Man was made specifically for this tournament, and he was the only one that was like that. Which is weird, considering that he's in the middle. Yeah, I don't get it. But, uh, yeah, that's why I get the feeling that the numbers are probably a little bit off. I feel like Tomahawk Man was probably the last one made for the tournament. Well, that is, the last one made whenever it came to original composition. But then maybe Dr. Wily remodeled them for further world domination uses. And that's why he's in the middle here. Tomahawk Man was the middle one to be remodified. And that's why they, all these Robot Masters, are under the Dr. Wily number name. And here we have Proto Man, an ice secret that you can get through the Rush Power Adapter, and we get the Energy Balancer. Now, once we uh, basically gear, get weapon ammo, if whatever weapon we're using, whether even if it's the regular Mega Buster, if the weapon ammo is full, then it goes to the weapon that needs the ammo most. Something important to remember about these Power Adapters is that neither can slide, and the uh, Rush Jet Adapter also is incapable of charging shots. So while mobility is definitely better, its power is much worse. But we need it for this section. And I'll just use some more of this. I haven't used the uh, Blizzard attack a whole lot because there aren't a whole lot of places where it's useful. It doesn't exactly have the most ammo. It doesn't exactly have the most power. It does have a good number of shots, although its rate of fire could use support. Now, as for the plant bearer being strong against Tomahawk Man, basically, the theory is that because Tomahawk Man was made explicitly for fighting, and flowers are a symbol of peace, that, uh, the plant barrier sort of takes out his fighting spirit or something. That's the theory, anyway, 
But Plant Bear kind of sucks. Especially against fighting Tomahawk Man. It's a bad idea, but it's what we've got. Tomahawk Man himself is an absolute beast. He will rip you to shreds. He has tons of power. He is not afraid of throwing it around. The main issue is that you have just enough plant barriers to take out Tomahawk Man. So if you mess up and use a, and use a plant barrier while he's invincible, you really messed up. Fortunately, I have already got him to such low health that I can handle him without using any tank, which I am actually surprised about. Tomahawk Man is not an easy robot master by any means, and honestly, he just went super easy on me. I mean, I mean, like, super easy on me. He could have torn me to shreds. Yeah, from him we get the Silver Tomahawk and the B, B part. So now we have B and A. Bob. Silver Tomahawk doesn't look like it would be a useful weapon, but this is one of those games where there's they made a lot of places for it to be useful. So you're going to be using it a lot, especially once you get to the Wily stages and such. But anyway, with that said, next time we'll be going on to Windman. So I've been Mr. Game Pie, and I'll see you next time.